In the expansive world of Marvel Comics, few characters have left as indelible a mark as the Hulk. This iconic and invulnerable figure has undergone significant evolution over the decades, captivating fans with each new iteration. From his modest beginnings as a member of the Avengers to his eerie and enigmatic portrayal in The Immortal Hulk, the Hulk's journey has been marked by continual transformation and growth. Each version of the Hulk brings a unique perspective, whether it's the unbridled rage of the classic incarnation or the unsettling horror of his actions in alternative realities. The Hulk's narrative spans a range of experiences from smashing through obstacles to delving into the complexities of the human psyche. His story is an ever-evolving saga that resonates deeply with audiences, solidifying his status as one of Marvel's most iconic creations. As Hulk enthusiasts are already aware, over the years Marvel has introduced a variety of Hulk iterations, including the Yellow Hulk, the Red Hulk, and the classic Green Hulk, almost as if they are trying to aim for all the shades on a rainbow. These diverse incarnations have showcased the character's adaptability and multifaceted nature. One of the most intriguing and mysterious Hulk variants hails from the Age of Apocalypse universe, which introduces us to the Orange Hulk. Despite the numerous transformations Bruce Banner has undergone since his initial exposure to gamma radiation, the Orange Hulk really makes quite a compelling case within the Hulk's kaleidoscopic history. But there's almost little to no information on this Hulk variant, so in this video, we will delve into the intricate origin of this enigmatic character. So without wasting another moment, let's get right into it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Who is the Orange Hulk? What are the biggest mysteries around this Hulk incarnation? When Warren Worthington III underwent an unexpected transformation into the next apocalypse, his X-Force teammates were determined to save him at any cost. Their mission led them into the alternate world created during the Age of Apocalypse as depicted in the 2011 comic Uncanny X-Force issue number 12, written by Rick Remender. In this parallel reality, Wolverine, known as Weapon Omega, had assumed the role of Apocalypse's successor. His mission, assigned by the Celestials, was to bring about humanity's ultimate downfall. To achieve this, Weapon Omega assembled a team of frighteningly powerful warriors known as the Black Legion. Among its ranks was an entirely new and unique version of the Hulk, distinctively orange-colored, almost like the sun. With striking similarities in appearance and possessing nearly boundless brute strength, like his green counterpart, this iteration of the Hulk came to be known as the Orange Hulk, playing a brief yet intense role in a conflict against the X-Force heroes. This particular showdown unfolded in just a few panels, scattered across two issues of the series. While the Orange Hulk's time in the spotlight during the battle with the X-Force was brief, it was most definitely not the character's final appearance in the Marvel Comics universe. In Uncanny X-Force issue number 19.1, the plot took a dramatic turn as the Black Legion, under the leadership of the Orange Hulk, unleashed a ruthless assault on the X-Terminated crew a troop of free fighters led by William Stryker. Here, we witness the Orange Hulk in a rather classic third-person style, referring to himself as the Solar Hulk. What sets this version of the Hulk apart is the unique origin of his powers. Unlike his mainstream counterpart and other Gamma mutates, the Solar Hulk gained his abilities through prolonged exposure or even bombardment with solar radiation. This particularly marked contrast makes the Solar Hulk's strength fully dependent on daylight, completely inverting the classic narrative where the Hulk's transformation was triggered more by rage than by the emergence of nightfall. To this day, the origin of the Orange Hulk remains shrouded in mystery, leaving fans with unanswered questions. However, it seems highly unlikely that this particular transformation occurred by mere chance, as is the case with most Hulk variants. In the Age of Apocalypse, where chaos reigned and sinister forces were at play, it was evident that calculated actions were involved. On Earth-295, followers of the Apocalypse included the world's Dark Beast, aka Hank McCoy, and the Sugar Man, both notorious for their malevolent scientific experiments. These conniving scientists played a pivotal role in creating numerous super beings through horrific genetic manipulation. Given their penchant for meddling with genetics, it is more than possible that the transformation of the individual who would become the Solar Hulk 
was not just an accident. Furthermore, the Bruce Banner of the Age of Apocalypse universe was known as The Thing, a distinct departure from his mainstream counterpart on Prime Earth. Additionally, he had met his demise years before the Solar Hulk even made his appearance. This clearly suggests that whoever underwent the transformation into becoming the Solar Hulk might not have been fully aware of what awaited them, or that they might not have had a say in the process from the outset. The Age of Apocalypse was a realm filled with unexpected twists and dark experiments making the Solar Hulk's emergence all the more enigmatic. Regrettably, the Orange Hulk has only made brief appearances in the Marvel Universe, his role primarily centered on defending Apocalypse's ship and launching an assault on the last human settlement on Earth-295 in the Age of Apocalypse reality. It is not entirely surprising that the Solar Hulk has not been extensively featured in the comics. The Age of Apocalypse is a vast and intricate alternate reality filled with countless untold stories and unanswered questions. Moreover, this particular reality has been sealed off from the broader Marvel Universe, further limiting opportunities for exploration. Is there any other orange-colored Hulk in the Marvel's multiverse? For fans who enjoy the concept of a Hulk in various colors, the primary Marvel Universe still offers some diversity. Although not specifically an orange Hulk, the Devil Hulk occasionally exhibits characteristics reminiscent of his warm-blooded counterpart among the many personas dwelling within Bruce Banner's psyche, the Devil Hulk emerged prominently during the events of Immortal Hulk. This deeply suppressed alter ego possessed a unique blend of eloquence and malevolence. His singular mission was to protect Bruce at all costs, even if it meant sacrificing other alternate personalities and at times jeopardizing Bruce himself. The Devil Hulk, both in concept and practice, was a nightmarish entity. Unlike some of the other personas, the Devil Hulk did not just surface in moments of severe injury or temporary death for Bruce. Instead, he chose his moments, often revealing himself after nightfall. Superficially, this made it challenging to distinguish the Devil Hulk from the other alters. However, beneath the surface, this sinister persona was an entirely different shade of malevolence. In its true form, the Devil Hulk manifested as a towering orange reptilian behemoth distinct from the more familiar green hue associated with the Hulk. This appearance set him apart, resembling more of an irradiated adversary akin to the Incredible Hulk's rogues gallery. What further separated the Devil Hulk from his counterparts was his deep connection to the mystical aspects of gamma radiation, or at least the mystical dimension it held within the realm of the mystic arts. This unique affiliation granted him a significant advantage over his other alternate personalities, allowing him to suppress them temporarily. However, the Devil Hulk's overtly violent tendencies, often resulting in lethal outcomes, marked him as one of the Marvel Universe's most perilous incarnations of the Hulk. To safeguard the universe from the Devil Hulk's menace, it was imperative to confine this dangerous persona, necessitating his containment and isolation for good. As of now, there has been no indication of the Devil Hulk making a return in any iteration of the Marvel Universe. However, in the ever-evolving world of comics, opportunities for the resurgence of characters like the Devil Hulk and the Solar Hulk are bound to arise, just as other Hulk personas like Titan have had their moments in the spotlight. There is absolutely no reason for us to believe that the Solar Hulk or the Devil Hulk could not do the same again. Their reappearance, though, may come at a cost considering the destructive and menacing nature of these personas. Nevertheless, in the vast Marvel multiverse, anything is possible, and us Hulk enthusiasts might yet have a chance to witness the return of these distinctive incarnations of the Incredible Hulk. Marvel's Verdict Gaming enthusiasts might be aware that an orange Hulk first appeared as a playable character in a video game called Marvel vs. Capcom Clashes Superheroes. Even if that character's story arc is quite different from this one, the comic version has definitely opened up endless possibilities for the character. Each variant of the Hulk brings more spice and flavor to the green behemoth's narrative, further enhancing the character's versatility that captivates audiences from all angles. Regardless of its lack of recent appearances, the Orange Hulk is undoubtedly a breath of fresh air in the Hulk narrative. Its different approach as a character not restricted to being a Bruce Banner alter ego serves as a testament to the ever-changing nature of comic book storytelling that keeps us coming back for more. Now that we've come to the very end of this video, what do you think? Will we see more of this iconic Hulk variant in the upcoming Marvel comics? Don't forget to share your theories in the comment box below.